The unofficial start to the freshwater fishing season where I live in the Northeast United States is opening day of trout season. The streams near me can get a little crowded at the beginning of the season, so I usually wait until mid-May to visit my favorite stream. Over the years, I've had a lot of success with inline spinners, not just for trout, but small stream bass and panfish. Spinners can be expensive, and I always end up losing a few each trip to snags, so several years ago, I decided to start making my own. After a bunch of experimentation, I arrived at a design I like. It is a cross between a MEPS French style spinner and a Swiss swing. It is possible to make spinners without a wire forming tool, but I decided to invest in one. Jan's Netcraft is a good source for lure making supplies. I mounted the tool to a piece of scrap wood to clamp to my workbench. This tool can do a bunch of stuff, but I only use it to make the eye on the spinners. I use .024 diameter stainless steel wire. The forming tool is pretty easy to use. The directions in the included booklet are straightforward. The eyes I can make with the tool are very professional looking. I like to grind down the little tag end left by my wire cutters with my Dremel. Here's all of my spinner shafts ready for the next step. I threaded the spinner blade clevis along with the blade and the brass beads onto the shafts. I like to use solid brass beads to add weight to the lure. I also like to double check that I hung the blade in the right orientation. To keep the spinners uniform in length, I used a ruler to mark the wire for the bend for the treble hook eye. I found that a nail mounted in my vise is the easiest way to make this bend. Then I thread on the treble hook. I double up the wire under the bottom bead. And I bend the tag end back with my pocket knife to lock the treble hook loop. The finished lure weighs about 1 8 ounce. Here's a breakdown of the parts for my spinner. I like to use round bend fine wire treble hooks. I find that even with four pound test line, I can pull the hook straight to free the lure from most snags. The fine wire is easy to bend back into shape with pliers or hemostats right on the stream. Making your own lures is a fun way to combat cabin fever and to get ready for next season's fishing. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. This is probably the biggest trout I ever caught. I got it on Halloween Day 2005 out of the Pequest River. My daughter was five months old at the time. She didn't seem impressed. <laughs>